Getting state preservation to work for iOS 12 seemed pretty simple to me. For iOS 13 and above, there seems to be a lack of demos and state preservation is really, really important because it gives the user the feel of persistence when they go away from the app and come back. So this is a demo that shows the implementation on iOS 13. So one of the bits of setup that I'm going to do is remove the scene delegate and alter the app delegate. Now this is a bit tricky to do because there's a change not just deleting the scene delegate. I'll move it to the trash, so I press delete on the keyboard there. But also removing the reference from the plist, which if I see, scene manifest, delete that. And then there's some changes in the app delegate. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this. It doesn't seem obvious to me that you have to include the window property. However, of course you do. And of course, you have to import UIKit. If not, it's not going to work. So here I need to set up the restoration code. And actually I need something to restore. So we are going to have this view controller, if I go to Object Inspector, I can set up a restoration ID, which is then used by the code, which is just going to be in my view controller. Um, for simplicity, I'm just going to paste some work I've already done, which is just some, some data displayed in a table view. There's nothing too exciting in here. And then we have just these two functions encode restorable state which stores the offset and then decode that stores that retrieves the os offset and then applies it to the table view so if i run it on my simulator okay so this is at the top of the screen that's completely fine. If I move it to the bottom and then I click the home button or use command shift H, stop Xcode and then go back to the simulator and reopen. It's no longer at the top, it's at the same position as we were at when we sent the app to the background because I'm storing the content offset. You could do things like select different elements here or whatever you wanted to, to store and then restore. The point is to give a good user experience. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what job you're doing. Freelance developer, working for a large corporation, working for a startup, the customer pays your bills ultimately. And you don't want to have the type of experience where you're listening to a song, you send the app into the black background, and then come back and have to reload and find that song again. Although, that is how Apple Music works. But anyway, you should really have a good user experience, and it should be top of your list.